Hello students, today we will be learning about how to write a good paragraph. To begin with, let us understand what are the different types of paragraph. For example, we have got narrative paragraphs which tells us a short story, a persuasive paragraph which tries to convince the readers, for example, should there be exams. Next, we have a descriptive paragraph which describes or tells about something. And we also have explanatory paragraphs which gives us information. For example, explain why you admire someone or explain why your parents are strict. Today, we are going to learn how to write descriptive paragraph. Now, what is descriptive writing? A description is nothing but a picture in words. In other words, what you can see, hear, feel, you put all those things in words. It focuses on events, places, people, thing or experience. Remember students, whenever you are describing something, you are using your senses. You have to use adjectives, similes, metaphors to make the paragraph more interesting and readable. What is it that you write in the beginning? The first most important thing when we begin writing descriptive paragraph is the topic sentence. This is a single idea which is prominent throughout your paragraph. What I'm going to tell you all now is equally important for the parent as well as a child. How can a child write a really good descriptive paragraph? For that, reading is a must. Only then can you improve your vocabulary. Try this method. Make a book, probably your own dictionary, and write four or five new words every day. Try to find its synonyms, antonyms, how to use those words in sentences. That way, at the end of the month, you have around 100 new words. Try to revise and use these words in your daily life. These are some of the words that can be related to our different senses. Taste. We have sweet taste, sour, bitter, salty. Feels. It feels prickly, smooth, rough. Looks. Dark, shiny, long, fat, thin. Smells. Fresh, delicious, bitter. The sounds that we can hear. Loud, noisy, quiet, silent. You could use any of these words in your paragraph. Here I have given you some more sensory words that you can use in your day-to-day -day conversation. Oh, this is so delicious. The soup is tangy. I can smell the burnt bread and so on. Whenever you all sit down to write a paragraph, try to think of words that can fall in these categories. Here I have given you a sample paragraph for you to understand how we should write a paragraph. To begin with, there is a topic sentence which controls the whole paragraph. Then the body is given and in the end there is a concluding sentence which leaves the impression of the topic in the mind of the reader. I have incorporated some more sample paragraphs for you all. The previous was my home. This is at a beach and what you see around it, the smell, noise, the feel, the experience of being at a beach. This paragraph is talking about a person. It's about myself. First person description. He talks about how he looks, how he likes certain things, how he teaches, his experience, what he likes to listen to. Everything is mentioned in that one short paragraph. Now this is the topic which I want you all to write in your notebook. A morning walk which shows the place you visit daily the sounds you hear, what you see and the overall experience of the place. If you will notice, I have underlined certain words which are there for the different senses that we are going to be using in a paragraph. This is a homework for all of y'all. I have mentioned some topics for y'all to attempt on your own. Let us take them one by one. A train ride. You could describe the people who are around you, the sounds and the noises that you can hear on the platform or in the train, the smell of the tea and coffee when the vendor is moving around, and the overall experience of traveling in a train. 
a hobby mention your hobby let's assume that it is reading then you can describe the newspaper you read the feel of the paper the noise when it is delivered the smell of the paper your room how you feel to be in your own room where the things are kept what sounds you hear from your room the smell of the fresh paint the feel of the room what is it about the room that makes it different from all other places in your house remember students at the cost of repeating myself i will only say this reading is to the mind what exercise is to body and for the parents one of the greatest gifts any adult can give to their child and to the society is to read to them so read read and read thank you